Welcome to Offshore Engineer Guide. This is Mohammed Hermes. In this video, I uh, will talk to you about uh, how to deal with the stability calculations spreadsheets. Uh, as you can see, uh, we have on the left side, on the right side, we have the graphs. This is the layout as I am pointing on by the mouse. This is the layout, the top view of the barge, and uh, here below in the bottom, you will have uh, the profile view, the side of the barge and we, you will see the bow view. And uh, on the left side of the screen, you will see a list of the cargo. I have already entered some data and uh, you will see these buttons, which uh, we will be talking about uh, now. And uh, here are two options. You can hide the tanks. After you enter everything, you can hide the tanks and show, on, show only the cargo as you can see here and you can hide the cargo also now um, first of all uh, this is the barge and you need to add the tanks and you need to add the, uh, the cargo uh, and the barge itself has a properties the hydrostatic properties and its uh, center of gravity all these data has to be entered in order to get results First of all, the barge. If we click here on the barge, you have to enter the barge name. Of course, I have written sample barge because I have to write some data in the program in order to explain to you. You have the name of the barge, the, the length, the breadth, the depth, some notes if you want, uh, the weight or the light weight, uh, the, and the center of gravity, the longitudinal center of gravity, transverse center of gravity, vertical center of gravity. Everything has to be entered for the barge. When you click save, when you finish entering these data, when you click save, if the program detects that you haven't uh, you haven't entered the hydrostatic properties, it will say to you there is no or incomplete hydrostatic properties entered for this barge. How you, how will you proceed? You can choose later and you can choose enter now let's try to choose enter now it will take us to another screen uh, where you will find some instructions I will just explain these instructions to you now uh, but simply simply the uh, data which needs to be uh, entered are in this table you have to copy six columns from some other spreadsheet these six columns constitute the displacement draft KMT, KML, BMT, BML. You need to copy them from that other spreadsheet and paste them here. Click on this cell A11 and click uh, and right click paste after you copy uh, the data there on the other uh, spreadsheet. And then you are done. You're done. You finish uh, entering uh, the data except you need also to enter the name of the barge here as I'm pointing on the on the screen type the barge name here and this name should be the same exactly the same name as entered here let's open this uh, barge window then the name of the barge here must be must be the same as the same as the name of the barge here otherwise the screen this screen will keep uh, bobbing up to you if the program detects that the uh, barge name the data for if the program detects that the, that the data for the hydrostatic properties are not for this barge uh, it, it detects by comparing between the name here and the name here back to the layout sheet here after you enter the barge uh, data you need to enter the tanks data here is a list of the tanks which I have already entered these are the list of the tanks and uh, wh when you want to add a new tank click here new tank of course that we, we you will see uh, the last tank entered is appearing in uh, this but you can change everything let's say tank number 25 length with sounding everything this is not essential data to be entered into the spreadsheet the essential data 
are the weight of the water uh, and the center of gravity of the tank. You can enter these data, but uh, it's not essential to, to, to proceed with the calculations. So uh, uh, the weight, let's say uh, 40 ton, let's say the center of gravity is uh, 30, zero transfers in the center exactly uh, to save tank number 25 it's already added to the uh, end of the list here now we have already added one more tank if we later want to delete this tank you click on the tank itself and press delete and you're done it's deleted it's no longer there okay now the cargo the cargo I have entered some cargo here uh, you can add cargo you can delete cargo as you want let's add one more cargo from this uh, plus uh, button let's say um, bump you can uh, also uh, like the tanks you can enter these things but you can also avoid or uh, you can also skip entering the length width and height and uh, proceed directly to the weight and the center of gravity now I should see bump the bump has already added here so I can click here and change anything or I can also make some changes in the location of the bump because when once I click on the bump here I will have I will see uh, the location here the left means the distance from the y axis the top is the distance from the x axis I can change uh, the location of the bump from these uh, boxes or I can use these buttons to uh, move the if I want to move it down let's say if I want to move it down I click on the bump and from this button uh, down button I click as you can see can can you watch can you watch please watch what happened to the bump uh, as I'm clicking the down button can you watch please watch okay let's let's make uh, let's use the up button okay let's use the right button it moves with me okay now let's see the impact on on this changes on the uh, heel and the uh, and trim the trim the trim can be seen can can be seen here and the heel can be seen here so uh, in order to see the impact of uh, of, of, of these changes or changing the location on the trim and heel uh, let's first change the weight of the bump in order to uh, see the impact let's say in, instead of one ton let's make it 100 ton once I click save after I entered 100 ton once I click save please watch what will happen to these two graphs the profile view and the bow view in other words, what will happen to the trim and what will happen to the heel. Now I will click save. See, once I click save, something happened. The trim has increased and the heel also has increased. And also the values of the trim and heels uh, appeared here. As you can see, each cargo item is represented by a point. But if I, if I have not avoided, if I, if I didn't avoid entering the length and width, let's go back, let's, let's enter another item. Let's say I want to uh, add a welding machine. Now, where is the welding? The welding machine is here. Can you see this? Okay, let's enter something bigger. Okay, the welding machine appeared here. Let's enter something bigger. Let's say we want to add um, a pipe stack. Here is a pipe stack. Now, 
the pipe stack is represented by a, a rectangle as the welding machine here. Why? Because I have not avoid. I have. I have I, I have entered the length and the width, but if I entered only the center of gravity and ignored the the length and width, um, I will I, I will have uh, the item represented by only a point like it. So 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 you you don't bother looking for the length and width if you if you are concerned with the uh, stability of the barge. But if you have data, which is useful in that case, if you have data about the length, width, and height, uh, you can enter this and you can uh, benefit from the program to make the layout. You can check the layout apart from checking the stability of the, of the barge. You, you, you can make a layout, check the layout, check whether uh, the cargo can be loaded on the cargo barge in terms of the area not in terms of the stability of the barge. Now, um, if you want to see the results, click this button. It will show you the final results of everything. Of course, this is, these are the input data, and these are the result. The cargo weight is calculated. The draft is, is, is calculated. The freeboard, which is... Uh, the depth minus the draft, and the heel angle is this one. The trim angle is this one. If you want more information, click help here. It will take you to the video, to this video which I'm which which I'm making right now, and uh, it will take you to other videos. Uh, also, you can send uh, to me any uh, inquiry through my website. Uh, www.offshoreengineerguide.com uh, you can click on uh, contact us and send me any query send to me through this email info at offshoreengineerguide.com or you can click on contact us uh, please uh, if you uh, haven't had your free copy of the program get the free copy now from uh, the comment uh, below uh, wh wherever the uh, video is published whether on YouTube or LinkedIn or uh, Facebook get your free copy uh, and try the program and let me know your feedback and uh, I, I hope you will be happy with uh, the program uh, it's a stability program and it's also a layout program it gives you information about uh, the suitability of the barge to take the cargo in terms of the area and uh, it also checks the stability as you can see uh, the trim will be seen once you change any data the heel is shown once you uh, change any data uh, i think it will be a useful program thank you so much for watching again have a nice day we'll see you later bye bye